we can solve any system of two linear differential equations, x prime equals a times x, whenever our matrix A is a diagonal matrix D, or if A is similar to a matrix D. But can we solve x prime equals a times x if A is a C matrix, a scaling rotation matrix? Let's see. What did we need to solve x prime equals a times x in the d case? Well, we needed to compute e to the power a, and that was all. But we have already learned how to compute e to the power c. So this means that we should be able to solve x prime equals c times x. Let's try in this video. Here we have our problem, x prime equals c times x, where c is a scaling rotation matrix of the form a a b minus b, and x0 equals x0, some initial condition is given. Initial condition is not that important. What is our solution x of t? Well, we know how to do it for the a case, so we know that we have e to the power c t times x0. But how to compute e to the power ct? How to simplify this a bit? Well, use the weight of rewriting c as a times i plus b times j. So we write e to the power ct equals e to the power a times i plus b times j times t. Then we can split this into one part and a second part e to the power a t times i plus e to the power b t times j. The first one is nice, because this is just a diagonal matrix here, so we can compute this exponent straight away. And we have already learned how to deal with the e to the power b t times j. It's uh, similar to Euler's formula for complex numbers. It yields, yields i times cosine b of t and plus j times sine b times t. We can rewrite this matrix as e to the power a t times i. So we get the e to the power a t i times i equals i, i times j also equals i. And we can simplify this a bit further, write it out as e to the power a t i times cosine b of t and j times sine b t. So here is sine b t and here a minus sine bt. So actually, e to the power ct doesn't look that bad. It looks as e to the power at times some rotation matrix. Let's see how it looks in an explicit example. First, we write down x of t entirely x of t equals e to the power ct times x0. And then we choose a particular matrix c. Minus 1 for a, for b we pick 1, so here we have a minus 1. A, b equals 1, a equals minus 1. Then we can immediately write down the solution of x prime equals c times x, because we know how it looks over here. So x of t equals e to the power a t with a equals minus 1, times the rotation matrix with cosine b t, but b equals 1, so cosine t, cosine t, sine t, minus sine t, times x naught. And how does the phase space look? Well, suppose we start somewhere over there. What happens? First of all, the e to the power minus t, the scaling factor, is smaller than 1, because e to the power minus t for t equals 0 it equals 1, but for t equals 1, we have e to the power minus 1 equals 1 over the Euler number is smaller than 1. So we have a, a scaling factor which is smaller than 1 and which is ev even getting uh, smaller all the time. So this is getting smaller. This is a rotation matrix, so this rotates the, the factor. So what happens, the next point is rotated. We have a positive phi, phi of 1, so we, get, uh, we are rotating counterclockwise, we are getting smaller, 
So we are rotating counterclockwise, getting smaller. So we are going smaller inside into the origin. We are spiraling. So a point like this is called a spiral point. So there we have our solution of x prime equals c times x.